Hello Aquarius. Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. I know it's been a long time since I saw you. <laughs> I apologize. Um, we all know that Saturn woke up and Blue Flame Integration had some things that she was not able to accomplish over the summertime that she had to do all pretty much in one month. <laughs> so, well, month, two months, you know. Either way, I've been feeling pretty back on my game again. It's about time. If you have never uh, been on my channel, please uh, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, share. I'd appreciate it. Aquarius, you guys are probably my most subs that I have. So sharing my content is very cool of you if you would do so. And I love you guys for it. My Mars is in Aquarius, so I understand it. Plus I have an Aquarius daughter, so... I did pull out an extra card for you guys beyond just uh, the regular nine card spread. I pulled out um, a, your spirit animal for the month. This reading will be good from now until the end of October 2019. Um, spirit asked you to come and help me deliver this message to Aquarius in the most edifying way for everybody involved here. Um, I ask that you bring healing and enlightenment use me as a vessel to get your message out correctly and um, to the collective how they need to hear it. I thank you. I invite my spirit guides, my ancestors, my angels, Holy Spirit all to come and my higher self to open up. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you. My team is amazing. You guys got the swan for your spirit animal. Symbolism, transformation, loss of innocence and beauty. This painting of the swan maiden represents a common motif found in the mythologies and folk tales of many cultures around the globe. From Native American to Slavic, although the story varies from place to place. The basic plot is the same. A young man finds a feathered robe or skin of a swan maiden, a goddess-like creature, which she has temporarily shed to assume a human form. Although the youth attempts to hide the feathers from the maiden, which would allow him to possess her, the swan finds its feathers, assumes its animal form, and leaves the youth. The lost swan that symbolizes the departure of youthful innocence and the passage to maturity. In some versions of this story, the swan dies. In Greek mythology, the swan song is also a beautiful song by the swan just before death. However, transformation, death, and rebirth. And I also pulled you a Starman card, which goes over top this whole base reading. I mean, I want to clarify. This Starman card, I really feel like I should read a lot of what's in the book because it makes sense. This is the Wounded Warrior. As you see that big blob there, yeah, they're fighting in the spirit realm right now. Spirit is asking you to build resilience. And that darkness that you're fighting isn't necessarily an outside darkness. It could be shadows. Shadow slaying, Aquarius. <laughs> You guys are good at, you guys can slay these shadows. You're supposed to push through the weariness. You're almost at the finish line. The Nine of Wands invite you to seek your own freedom from the shadow. Interlooper by shining the light of awareness. Witness the voice in your head no, it isn't yours, but hand it over to you at the act of birth. Life is this journey into the world to uncover this voice, making it conscious so that at last the pain and restriction it causes can be dissolved. Recognizing its falseness, tracing its origins, and then with your grace of love releasing and clearing yourself of it. Each moment holds a potential. All of those old programs, I really feel like spirit is coming and saying, you want to know what? 
This is the last great battle. This is the Wounded Warrior. Um, you're right at the 10. You slay this and you're at the 10. All those burdens released. And this also stands for transformation. Aquarius. All right, let's get into your main reading. Sorry for that intro, but yeah, if you'd like to book a private reading, you can do so with, you, with me. Everything will be in the description box down below. Okay, Aquarius, I'm supposed to read yours in the columns, apparently. Okay. First card out, you have the Ace of Cups. Someone given love or a new emotion or maybe spirit's been showing new things, such as shadows that um, his grace has been falling on to help you emotionally heal. And then, I think you're still reluctant though. I, I think you found this healing, but you're reluctant because of, you're still kind of stuck in the Ten of Swords here. And in the pain of when you did this before, it was like nothing was moving. And you ended up, yeah, you possibly might have pushed into this and this person wasn't ready at the time and then you ended up as a ten of swords however I feel like spirit has come to renew like if that could have been your situation and now spirit has come to give you a renewal of your emotions and very well could have people coming at you too and there could be some confusion this energy has been crazy I know but I think the spirit is coming to, I think that these things that you've been struggling with have been revealed. I know this. They've been revealed. The spirit saying, look, if you can give over this pentacle, this knight of pentacle that possibly you're holding in your hand at this point, he's got something better for you. Prince of Cups is coming in in your right now position. Somebody might be coming in. And you're confused about it. Here's a third party stuff. This very well could be third party. I'm not saying that it is. This very well could be celebrating. You might just be celebrating your victory here in the past from this Ten of Swords stuff that you got over. And now you're getting, someone's watching you. <laughs> Looking like someone wants to come in with an emotional offer here. However, Aquarius, in your near future, I don't think you're going to stay very stuck very long. You're looking, you've got your back turned to pretty much all the stuff in the past, which is a good thing. You're looking, waiting for your ships to come in. You see that armada of ships out there, and you know that you work very hard for that. You're waiting for communication. And of course, like with every other sign, either death or judgment has been coming out. Judgment. This also can mean a reconciliation to your true self, possibly. Could be a reconciliation. This Prince of Cups coming in. Could be a reconciliation to a past person. And or somebody's getting karma. And look at this as the old, they call it karma card. Like... And that's what's going on around here. You might be getting words. You're like, I, I don't care about that. I'm just looking, waiting for my new beginning. Because all that stuff in the past did not make me happy. I've been planting all this fruit. Where the heck is it? Where's my stable person? Your strength might be waning right now. Because all you saw was five of swords. However, that's in reverse. Now be... Know that this is going to be in reverse. Someone's coming in. You can be emotionally stable and open up. I know it's not the easiest thing to do when you've been hurt, but you can do this. All right. Your future outcome. After you see this energy come in, well, you're going to be getting lots of communication. You could be getting a new job. There could be three different areas that Spirit's working on. Job, love, um home life revamping something transforming your own self transforming your thoughts transforming and reconciling to your true self as well 
you've been working very hard. You want to know why I, I, I say job? Because look, here comes the eight of pentacles in the outcome. If you do this, you're going to be put on the right path to whatever your craft is. And you're going to be able to move toward into that real quick. It's like there could be a partner coming alongside you too. And then we have the nine of swords as the outcome. This very well could be very uncomfortable for you because you are a fixed sign. This could be very uncomfortable for you. You might miss somebody from your past still. You might have worked with them. You might have moved to be with them. And you might hear back from them, but like, I really think if somebody from your past is coming back, You're not too sure if you want to go go with that or take them up on that. However, I really feel like you really do care. Do not lose. Try not to lose much sleep over this person. You know what? Many of you have learned how to alchemize things. Yeah. Nine of Swords again when I split the deck. Many of you are extremely worried about a past person coming back. Might have put you in a third party situation. Um, and you're just now getting your emotional footing back. You're getting your goals back. And then you have someone coming in offering you a pentacle and you're like, like don't confuse like you're not letting anybody confuse you right now. But yet you have somebody hot on your trail with this Prince of Cups here. And you're a K of Cups. Let me see this Prince Knight of Cups coming in. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Page of Coins. Spirit was like throwing you a bone here. In your recent past. Could have got an offer of a new job that is emotionally fulfilling as well. could be a tarot reader, you could be a spiritual person. I really feel like spirit has kind of threw this stuff on your lap and said do something with it. How are you going to plan it? And your, the page is actually moving to a Prince of Pentacles, which is good. He's growing up a little. Prince of Pentacles. Six of coins in reverse. This is usually the, well, I'd call it the breadcrumbing card, or I'd call it the unequal give and take. This is still unequal to me, but yet, then again, it's one, two, well, you're looking for equal give and take. That's all you're offering, that's all you're accepting. So you're being very methodical and slow because of this pain and heartbreak in the past or someone did stab you and leave you to bleed out and not cool. All right. Ten of swords. Oh yeah, here's the night again. You might have been dealing with an earth sign in your past or have earth heavy in your chart. Seven of cups. And the queen of cups in reverse water energy. Aquarius. Very well could have been during cancer season. You might have been getting a very heavy pull or might have been during cancer season that you decided to let something go and move on. And it's been a very slow process. However, you're at the point now where the three of cups, you're no longer accepting um, and I really feel, even with celebrating, I think that many of you have um, decided to just worry about yourself. Um, I don't think many of you have been overindulging all too much. Like, I think a lot of you might have even given up a lot of that lifestyle. Three of Cups with the Two of Coins in reverse. This says a Lannister always pays his debts. I look at this as the um, juggler card not being able to um, 
make up his mind. I think you put a halt to all kinds of situations that involve three people. Whether you noticed um, you were being pulled into drama with friends, whether you noticed you were being pulled into drama with um, family and relationships, you said at parties, like, that's why you've distanced yourself, I think, from this type of stuff that could ever happen. Prince of Cups, somebody is watching you. Justice. In Libra season. You very well could have a Libra coming in. Aquarius. And or you're getting justice over a situation. And then judgment's right next to it. Either somebody's coming in to offer you an emotional offer and it's justice. We have a Libra new moon coming up very shortly. And I think that you're like even thinking about like not even bothering. That you're going to begin communication. And no, I'm going to let you know this right now. Don't turn it down. See it through. Because it very well could be the universe. Blowing his horn for you. Look, I even rhymed for you, Claire. <laughs> yeah. Three of Wands. Six of Cups. You're looking for that past person. Could be a reconciliation. I'm not saying that it's not. You might be dealing with more than one person, too. I hope you're not creating a third party's Aquarius. The full Eight of Wands. Very well could be dealing, thinking about an Aries. Communicating with an Aries. Or um, just uh, a new start in communication with somebody. You very well could start communicating with... Um, could be reconciling with somebody very well could be an, an Aries or a Libra all right judgment oh good grief look at that Ooh, the wands Queen of Wands in the reverse. Aquarius? Be very careful if you're dealing with an Aries. Because it doesn't look like reconciliation is going to happen at any time soon. You could be communicating with them, though. And it very well could be a past person. However, I think you're looking at you're going to be looking at your other options other than just this. You know, yeah, it is a karmic tie. It looks like pretty well, but with the Queen of Wands in reverse, she's not very nice. All right, at work, this Eight of Pentacles, you could be offered a new job. Page of Swords in reverse. This is someone coming at you lying, maybe lying to you about work, so you know, or lying to you about what they're up to. Six of Swords. Boy, this turned a little bit shitty here. Yeah, do yourself a favor and make sure that you're watching yourself. Yep, Six of Swords. You very well could have been making plans with somebody to move with them or them move with you. And I think you're going to, Spirit's going to make it really clear with the Eight of, Eight of Swords. This is being caught up in your head. So it looks a lot like the Eight of Wands, but it's the Eight of Swords. Wait a minute. No, it is the Eight of Wands. I'm sorry. That's the Eight of Spears. Use Wands, Spears, whatever. This is the Eight of Wands with the Six of Swords. You're going to know. I really feel like Spirit's going to come in and tell you. Or somebody's going to come in and tell you that they're moving away. Or you are. You're making the choice. You might not be telling anybody. It could be for work as well. And then here's the Nine of Swords. Like, you don't want to have to do this, I feel. I really feel like you don't want to have to do this. Sorry, if somebody lied to you and you found out about it, I don't think it's going to... It's going to mess you up in heads a little bit. We're dealing with the mail area. I'm sorry. Okay, Nine of Swords. The Hanged Man in Reverse. Yep. 
We're going to be, some of you could get caught up in your headspace again. Some of you could be caught up in your headspace again. Try not to do that. If, you're, if This is in Aries especially. What's at the bottom of the deck? Ten of Swords in Reverse. Ten of Swords in the Upright. Is that burden being dropped? Ten of Swords in Reverse. Kind of being stuck, not being able to drop it. What's underneath that? Knight of Swords in Reverse. Three of Swords. You're coming out of Heartbreak eventually here. And then the Nine of Swords again, where you feel like you're trapped or somebody feels like they're trapped behind a wall. Okay, this definitely sounds like it was for a couple different groups of um, Aquarius. So however, take this however it resonates. Um, make up your mind to follow your heart. Because spirit does definitely want to give you, it's not going to feel good, I know this. But it's stuff that you've been planting for a long time. And you're if you're emotionally stable, you've been working through this stuff, spirit has a brand new start for you. It was just kind of tossed to you, like... Sort of like this um, page of coins, see? The universe is tossing him this ace of, ace of pentacles. It's right over top of your reading, right with that Starman card. Man, this is the last of the battle, guys. If you guys can pass this, this is like a test. You guys are being tested. Or can you hold your healing? You're going to see justice. You're going to see judgment come out and... Your outcome could be a little bit, wow, the universe freaking ha Don't look at it as a bad thing. Look at it as, um, I had to change my way of thinking as the universe saved my ass and protected me. I love you guys. You guys take care. If you'd like a private reading or would um, like to purchase any of my protective or uh, psychic enhancing jewelry, let me know. I do energy clearings. Everything will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much, Aquarius. You're one of my favorite signs to do. And enjoy your October. It's going to be awesome. Uh, there'll be new things to come. I guarantee it. I've just been busy lately. So, um, be looking for more frequent uploads and stuff. I love you. Bye-bye.